Hello, welcome to the Postal Pleasures channel. Today we're going to finally dig into our first pack of stamps from the huge lot, four bags full of stamps that I got from Goodwill recently. Uh, I decided to go with Egypt. Uh, we, we got a preview of this in um, episode 5 of Goodwill, which is where I look at bag 4. Um, and the reason I chose Egypt is really uh, maybe to capitalize a little bit on Graham Beck's recent video um, where he uh, does some Egypt uh, stamps and it looks like maybe he even goes to Egypt. I actually haven't watched the video yet. I'm going to be doing that soon. Um, but, uh, you know, I, usually it's maybe a week between when I uh, produce the video and, and put it out there. So uh, his will get a little bit of traction. And then uh, maybe there'll be some uh, follow-on interest in Egypt and we'll see how that works. In any case, let's get into these. Looks like um, probably 50 stamps or so, actually probably more than 50 stamps. Maybe we won't even get them all done on this video. We'll try them though. We'll see what fits on the desk. Okay, bag out of the way. So I'll take the straggler first. Um, it's an airmail. Uh, it says Post Ariani. And uh, it has a nice little cancel airplane. And I'll get it up here in the corner to start off. Here we have... This one appears to be mint, although... Oh, yeah, there's gum. And uh, a hinge. Uh, not a remnant, but you can tell there has been a hinge on this mint stamp. 1951. Um, International Congress of Cotton. Interesting. And another one that's mint. Um, Asian People's Con Afro Asian People's Conference. Uh, let's see. And there's two from that series. So I'm gonna stack these up here. Oh, uh, really? There we go. Trouble picking that one up. Here we have another airmail, same as the first. A couple of those actually. I'm just going to stack these. Now this one's slightly different. Let me move those down a little. This one has um, bars across the uh, the person in the corner. So I wonder if they're reusing the stamp after a change in ruler. And actually this one's different because it actually has a person. So it's a different stamp altogether. Uh, sorry, I caught the color and the plane. They were the same, but a different uh, picture. A different Um, v int cycle racing. And we have a person. And here we have, is this, um, is this Nefertiti maybe? I've watched a little bit of History Channel, obviously, but I don't memorize everything. That one's upside down. Oh, now it's really upside down. Visit of the Royal, and I can't get the rest of that. 1946 is the date that it's commemorating. And here's another one of what I believe is Nefertiti. Oh, here's a nice one. Uh, great color, great blue. Now this one is UAR Egypt. There might be some that are just labeled UAR eventually. We'll look out for those. Here's one of these where we have the uh, person obliterated again. You know, I'm going to make a separate stack of those. Looks like we have quite a few. That one. Person obliterated. I'll be looking those up, of course, as a duplicate. There's 10 mils, another 10 mils, 15 mils. This one says agriculture on the bottom. I couldn't read what the previous one says on the bottom. 
It's the same picture, so maybe it also says agriculture. Yeah, it seems like these all say agriculture. So we have a two, four, five, and a one. I don't have them in order. Put this one here. That seems to be similar subject matter. Here we have what looks like another airmail. 30 in this case. And another airmail. And yet another. This last uh, three was pyramids. It's pretty neat. I think that's about as low as I can go there. Still be on screen. Different person, but similar. Here's a, a bunch of flags coming out of a central wreath device. And that one uh, dated 1945. That looks like a silhouette of a city with maybe a gear coming out of it. Here's one with what looks like a train. Yeah, that's pretty neat. Let's see, I think I need to start. Do I have this in screen? Barely. Yeah, that'll be the last one there. Another Nefertiti. There's a woman here. I'm not sure who that is, but it's a nice design. Nice light blue color. I know that's a slightly different design, but that's okay. Now this one has an overprint uh, in red. Still a little paper behind it. I'll have to look that up. Yeah, I think we're going to have two videos worth fairly easily here. Let's see if I seem to have a collection of this particular stamp in different denominations right now. Let's see, 130, 30, but the color is so different, I'm not sure that that's just faded. Uh, it seems to have a gray and a gray blue, and a 200, and a 50, and I think that's where that has to end. Duplicate here. I'm going to just set this beside, it's a 40, of that same style. Here's another denomination of the obliterated person. And here we have one, uh, 1946. Nothing similar to that out here, so I'll stick it over here. And here's one somewhat similar to that. Put that one there. Here we have some kind of vessel. of uh, building or castle. Let's take a look at some of these. Oh, I've got a duplicate. I'll get rid of that first. I'll turn some of these upside down ones over. Here we have a person. I think this is the same as that, except I think I have two there. Let me pick those back up. I can get underneath them. Yep. And there we go. I'm not sure which pharaoh that is. A 50. Here's a 100 mils of this series, but with the obliteration we saw before. So I'm trying to get two stamps here. I've got to get between them. There we go. I'll slide that up there. And another 30 with the obliteration. It almost looks like some sort of observatory there. I'm not sure. I feel like I've seen this before. Here we are. Part of that series. There's three mills. I think I have two stamps here. Once again. There we go. Get them apart. And it looks like a worker with a hoe of some sort. 
but slightly different than these other ones. So I'm going to put it in this column over here. A one and a two. Um, and underneath it, it said, does say agriculture as well, though. This one says defense. Forty mils, yeah, forty mils. Nice um, bluish cancel on that one. Okay, and here's a nice one uh, matching up here. So I'm going to kind of overlap those a little bit. There's a fifty for the obliterated cancel. I'll put that there. Another one of those, and yet another one of those. Now, the, the first one and third one of these are a little bit lighter violet, but maybe that's just uh, toning, who knows. And here's a map of Egypt, Gaza, part of the Arab nation. And another one of those. Let's see, put that one there, and here's one, this one's pretty neat, Mother's Day, which is um, March 21st, 1957, um, it's interesting that the, uh, the people, you know, don't look necessarily Egyptian in it, and that's uh, interesting that the stamp would find, you know, that image. Uh, but it's a nice stamp. And I think we've seen this device before. So similar to that, I'll put it down here. Uh, 22 mils. What an odd number. I'm sure there has some postal reason for that. Here's a 2 mils of uh, similar design. I'm going to move Mother's Day down just a little bit because it is similar to that one. A different person in it. Here's a sink mills, so I think that's going to be five. Yeah, five. I was reading and not looking at the number. And here's another. I'm going to move Mother's Day down again. Because now it looks like a three of that same series. Let's see. We're going to get another one. And we are. We are getting another one. And I'm running out of space for Mother's Day here. So now we have the four mills of that series. Let's see. Ah, it's something different. Good. Uh, building there. Conference of the Union Interdepartmental the Interdepartmental Union, I guess. Uh, here's one. I was wondering if we are going to get some of these. And this one looks like it has some damage or something on the surface. But we have the Sphinx and Pyramid series. It's a really uh, common earlier series. I wonder if this going to be another one. No, this is something different. This is, uh, looks like some kind of building or towers. Put it over here. Uh, I want to pull this one out. This one interests me. So this is probably going to be a back of book is my guess. Service of the... And I can't get the rest of it. It's under the cancel. Put this one up, upside down. Let's get this one taken care of. Uh, another one that matches here, I believe. We have this fella here. And another one of that same series. Got a little bit more space. I'll keep going until we run out of space and then stop it. We'll make this a two-part video. Here's another structure, another building. And here's a duplicate. Another building, so a 35 and a 40 from that series. Could be more from that series hiding in here, although I'm not seeing it quickly. It looks like a 30 from that same series. Great structure. Um, I wish I could read what that building is. Looks like it could be some kind of mosque or something like that. And 10 mils of this series. A different 10 mils of this series. Let's see a couple more small ones here. Four mils of that series. Five mils in a different... Actually, probably matches that one that I'm covering up directly. 
a one. I think that matches that one. And another obliterated one, a 20. We don't have that one yet. Let's flip over a few of these. Now I see this, which matches closely. I'm going to uh, cover a couple up now. That's a pair. I have another one airmail here, one mil airmail. Let's see, a 40, that's a match for that one. And I have another one for this set up in the top corner. So again, I'm going to lay over a couple of these. Another agriculture. That one is not a perfect match, though. Yeah, it is for there, though. Another defense. Uh, the purple defense there. I'll put this defense down here. Here's another obliterated 100. That goes there. 50 match. 30 match, but again, such a different color that I think they're separate stamps. And a 1 mil. And I'm going to put this one here, even though they're not the same design as that. Quickly running out of space. We have this one's interesting, me. It's a uh, evacuation stamp. I'm not sure of the purpose. And I'm going to move Mother's Day over to here because now I have a 15 of. Actually, a 15 out of 10. So now the 15 is going to go here. And let's see, the 5 will go here. Mother's Day will move up. And we'll put the 10 there. We're going to have this. Uh, oh, this one actually fits over here. Overlay those for a moment. Then we're going to put this huge one right out here. And then another duplicate, it looks like. Actually, no. Yep, a duplicate. And another duplicate. We're actually now getting through most of these, but we will run out of space. Another service one. There we go. Another duplicate coming out right now. Ah, here's a new one. Nice stepped pyramid, it looks like. And yet another duplicate, 1947. 50. 100. 40. Gray 30. Let's turn some of these over. Another 10. A 3 here. That matches very similar to actually. I'm going to move it over here. That matches that. A 2. Five, slightly different there. Okay, some more of this series, but I know I'm really quite out of space. Uh, this one's pretty neat. So I'm again the same series I just put down, but I'm going to move it over here. We have Sphinx, and we have some pyramids. Here we have an, one, a pyramid with a OHHS. I'm guessing that's going to be some kind of official, but I'm not sure. Uh, we'll look that up later, and I'll add uh, some uh, some text most likely to the video. I think that's in frame. So a 10 and a 20 mil of that design. Another obliterated 200. Is this my first obliterated 200? It is. I'll put it down here. And really room for just one more stamp, although this one could be a duplicate. Although I don't think it is, so I will sit it there. And that leaves me with a pile of maybe 25 stamps. So a short short episode 2 or part 2 of this. I'll make it a part 2. Um, and uh, 
we'll go from there. So um, thanks for watching this, and stay tuned for part two. It'll probably follow one day after.